Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we've got three little Elementor image boxes here. Uh, if I hover over the images themselves you can see they're going to zoom in. And when I let go they'll zoom back out again. Now we've got to do a tiny bit of coding to achieve this today. Don't let that put you off though. Any code I write, I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it as you need. So let's get started. I've got this page open with Elementor. I've got a section, the blue tab right there, with a row of three columns in there. Let's start a new section. I'm gonna go down, hit the little plus. I'm gonna make it three rows right there. I'm going to go into the section itself, the little blue tab. As you can see it says edit section up there. I'm just going to make the background white on it. Here's the background type. Hit the little pink brush. We can choose a color. Just click on there and pull it up to whatever color you want. That's fine for me. Now let's go to our little matrix. And I'm going to add an icon box. Like I mentioned, I'm using the free version of Elementor today, but obviously this will work on the Pro as well. If we go down to the general widgets right here, there's an image box. Let's pop him in there. And it's gonna prompt us to put an image in, title and text. So let's click on the image placeholder there and we'll pop an image in. Okay, that image is a little small, but we'll correct it in a little bit. I'm really not going to edit the text or title up there. If you want a link, put a link down below here. And always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it as it is. If you're linking off-site to somebody else's site, open it in a new window. That way your site stays open. Okay, well let's go over to our style now. First thing I want to do is make that image a lot bigger so it covers 100% of the area that we've got there. And here's the width percentage. I'm going to simply slide that up to 100%. There we go. And let's, while we're here, go to the content. I'm just going to change the color of that text there. I've got a free color picker up here. Google Chrome. I'm going to get the blue from my logo. I'm going to copy that. And let's just make that heading text that color. Here's the color title. Click on the color paste in my new hex code there we go and let's just make it uppercase and perhaps a little bit smaller so we can go to typography transform uppercase make it capital here's our size perfect now the only other thing I want to do is just add a little bit of space at the bottom the little blue line there is the bottom of the actual module so I'm going to go over to advanced. Remember we're still in the image box here. Here's margin and padding. I just want to give it a bit of padding on the bottom to extend the space at the bottom of that copy right there. So I'm going to uncheck this because I only want to do the bottom. If you leave that checked, it'll do all four at once. Here's the bottom. I'm just going to make that 50 picks. There we go. That's looking how I want to actually make it look. Okay, and we want to make this image when we roll over it zoom in to about twice the size or whatever zoom factor you want to do that still in the image box still on the advanced tab we've got CSS classes right here I'm going to give it a class so we can actually target it so I'm going to call it IMG zoom it's my kind of shorthand for image zoom you can call yours what you want it wants to be unique and it wants to kind of mean something to you when you look at it you, you can tell what it's going to do okay so we've given this thing a name now or CSS class that we can actually use to target it I'm using the free version today of Elementor if you're using the pro version you can write your custom CSS in this little box here but for the free users you need to write it in your theme customizer to get to your theme customizer, let's just close this down a moment. Go to dashboard, down to appearance, and then customize. And that'll take you to this page right here, if I back up one. Right at the bottom, you'll see additional CSS. It's where we need to write our CSS today. Let's get rid of 
what I've actually written there already. We'll publish this. Now what I've done, I've made the page we're actually working on my home page temporarily, just so we can see what's going on in real time. To do that, just go to your home page settings. And if you want to, just select the page you're working on. It'll make it easier for you to see your custom CSS in real time. And then you can flip it back afterwards. Now you have to make sure that you've got this updated and published before you can actually see it. Once you've done that and flipped it over, it'll be in your home page settings. We can refresh and see what's going on right here. OK, now here's our new little image box. Let's get our additional CSS panel up. And if we inspect this, I'm using the Google Chrome here. Most browsers have an inspector nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. And once you get the inspector up, if you have elements on one side, you'll see HTML and styles on the other side you'll see CSS. And if we look here it's highlighted the actual image itself which is great it's sort of highlighting it in blue up there. So we gave our whole module a class of image zoom so we can target the whole module and then the image IMG which is the class name there within it. Now all classes have to have a dot or a period in front of them. And don't forget, I'll paste this down below the video for anybody who just wants to copy and paste it. So class name, dot or period, and it was IMG Zoom. That was the name of the class we gave the widget there. And we want to target the image within it. So image zoom image. Open and close some curly brackets. I'm going to leave that just as it is for the moment with nothing in there. I'm going to copy it, I left click and selecting. Control C to copy. I'm going to drop down. And I'm going to paste it down below. Now, right after the image IMG there with no gap, I'm going to put a colon and the word hover, H O V E R, no gap between the end of the G of IMG, no gap colon, no gap hover. And that's a hover state we've just set now, so we can tell it what we want it to do when we hover over it. So I'm going to say, transform scale I'm going to get it to grow so transform colon scale after the E of scale with no gap open some round brackets and you can tell it the amount that you want it to scale up by I'm going to have mine twice as big so I'm going to put a 2 in there if I hover over it now as you can see it's scaled up to twice the size if you wanted different values for width and height you could comma separate by two then a comma then the next value 1.5 but i want mine both the same so i'm just putting one value in there great but you may have noticed if i pull the inspector down a bit it's just zooming out which is great but it's getting huge and we really want it to contain it within the actual image footprint itself so if we inspect this again, just right click and inspect, it'll take us back to the image. And if I roll up, you'll see another class name of Elementor Image Box Image. And you can see the blue highlighted area, which is pretty much exactly what we want to contain our image inside. So let's just double left click on that to highlight it and we can copy it. It's a class name. And again, all class names have to have a dot or a period in front of them. So there's the dot, paste the class name, control V. Now, I don't want to see anything outside of that. When this image grows like that, I don't want to see anything spilling out. And that's called overflow. Anything that's going to overflow outside of there is called overflow. So I'm going to hide it. I'm going to say overflow, colon, hidden, semicolon. Now, if we do it, it's containing it within that little footprint, which is just exactly what we want. So we're pretty much done here, which is great. The only other thing, the reason I left this blank up here, if you want to speed up or slow down the time it actually takes to zoom in and zoom out, we can use a bit of transition duration to do that. So let's say transition dash duration colon. 
let's say maybe 1.25 seconds obviously you put yours to how slow or fast you want it 1.25 s semicolon now when we zoom in it's still taking the same amount of time so what we've got to do is force this to overwrite the transition duration that they've got here don't like to use the important but this is one of those cases where I have to so I'm going to say semicolon important now if we roll over it it's overwritten those styles perfect okay well let's publish our changes and what we can do we can go back to our page now we can duplicate this and have the same effect because we've got the class name on this you can either create a new image box and give it that class or just duplicate by rolling over the little blue tab right clicking hit duplicate it's duplicated underneath drag one across doesn't matter which one because they're identical let's do the same again and drag one across and you can simply go in there go to your content swap out the image do the same thing obviously you would want to swap out your title as well obviously do that here and content and we'll swap out the image on this one too update and then let's hit the little eyeball to preview the changes there's our original ones if we roll on down here's our new ones and we've got three little image boxes with a nice little contained zoom effect there and that's a nice feature to have on your site if people are mousing around and something like that happens it's going to get their attention which is what you want so there you go guys there's how to do an image zoom and contain with the free version of the Elementor page builder I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.